Hey Tackle Warehouse fans, Mike Iaconelli here. I am excited to bring you a brand new vlog uh, today. And we are out here in a place that I call the canal. And if you look around as I'm idling here, this is a real South Jersey gem. This is a damned tributary of the tidal Delaware River. Um, we're gonna see a lot of stuff today. We're gonna see lay down, woods, stumps, brush, we're also going to see a lot of soft cover, like lily pads, reed banks, marsh guts. And the great thing about today's filming, I have no idea what's going to happen. It's been well over a year since I've been here, so we're just going to go fishing. Follow along, check it out, who knows what's going to happen, but the goal today, some big bass at the canal. Come on, let's fish. So like always, man, it'll be like, you know, we got to get that first bite, you know? Is it like, is it wood? Is it lay down? Is it stump, pads? Get that first bite and it usually is, uh, gives you a direction. First bite of the day. All right, it wasn't a big one, but I mean, what is that? That's what it came off of. I've hit him so hard, he come out of the water. Did you see that? And look how shallow it is here. Like, look at, look at that dust. That fish was in nothing. All right, so that was my first bite of the day, which is good, right? It's a good sign. And now I'm just trying to analyze it. So depth-wise, look, depth-wise, we're right here. So depth-wise, we're three, two and a half feet, which isn't deep. It's actually shallower right there but pretty isolated, you know? That was the first bite of the day. And it wasn't, definitely wasn't the kind we want, but little ones will tell you just as, just as much as big ones will. So that was a shallow piece of cover. That wasn't one that sticks way out. It was one that's in the dirt, you know? That's good if we got a bite that quick though. Oh, shit. so look at this. This is interesting. I don't know if you can see it. Look at this, you see this limb and there's that little piece sticking out? Look at the current behind it. There, it's gone out, so it's, it's falling right now. 100% that water's falling. Caught me one. <laughs> not a, not a big one, but it did catch me one. That is a. It's got a couple warts on his tail right there for all my warts fans right there. I have to use some compound W on that, but I don't know what to say. We've been fishing for a really long time, and this is only the second bite I got. Uh, the interesting thing is the first bite I had came off a hairy bush. And these bites, that bite I just got came out of a hairy bush in the thickest part of that bush. <laughs> and when I say hairy bush, I mean gnarly, nasty, twisted, matted bush, right? I mean, look at that, that fish actually came out of this one, but this one's set up the same. This time of the year, when these fish get around the spawn, you know, soft plastics are real important. And that fish right there was on, uh, uh, bait that I'm becoming a big believer in, and it's Berkeley Power Bait Max Scent. That's the creature hog. It's a beaver style bait um, with a lighter weight. So we're gonna let this fish go, and I'll tell you a little bit more about this bait. All right, here's what we've got it's the four inch Berkeley Power Bait Max Scent Creature Hog. This is a beaver style bait, um, flipping the black and blue, and uh, using it on a lighter setup than you would normally flip with. Remember, we're shallow, uh, zero to three feet today, stained water, and spawning fish. So when I'm flipping and pitching, and I know the fish are in a spawn mode, I get away from that heavier weight and I go lighter. So we've got the 3-aught VMC Ike-approved heavy-duty flipping hook. 
Uh, we've got a 5 16 ounce VMC tungsten weight, and of course there's that VMC weight stop uh, to keep it pegged. This creature hog, I'm doing a normal Texas rig. I go in about an eighth of an inch. I pull it out. I get it around that. It's really nice because they have these opposing keeper barbs. I get it over those and that really pins it in place. And then I just get that hook and make sure it's, it's embedded in the body. The great thing about this lure, especially when they're in this mode, right? It's tough fishing. They're tight to cover. They're spawning. They've been pressured is this right here. It is max scent. And scent is really, really important. And soak in a bait. You know, there's a lot of beaver style baits out there, but this one you can soak. Literally leave it in place and that scent's gonna disperse and you're gonna get some extra bites. So hopefully, that was the first, but hopefully it's not the last. We're gonna keep flipping this thing. Yeah. That didn't take long, did it? The heck's he got on him? Oh, he's got a black fin. Look at that. That's a weird black fin fish. Okay. Another. Here's a good look at how they eat that max scent creature hug. I mean, you know. You could say what you want about scent, but they definitely like it. That fish is even blind in an eye. Look, that eye's out. So, you know, they're using all their senses, right? And smell is one of them. And that thing is gone, dude. Look at that, choked it. Not a giant, little keeper. Uh, same bait. That's that uh, black and blue creature hawk. Let that thing go. All right, another keeper. On the flipping bait, you know, we've been, uh, today's been a tough day. We've really struggled. Um, I think one of the things plaguing us today is falling water. Uh, water's rapidly falling. Fish, fishery's already shallow, so those fish kind of get freaked out. So one of the things you can do when the conditions get bad, extreme high water or extreme low water, is go up as far as you can. Keep going. And we're at what I would call the top of the fishery, almost the headwaters. And the interesting thing is that, you know, if you don't have any rain, but the water's falling or rising, the top of the fishery is the most stable section. So we just made a move, literally just caught one. So hopefully, you know, this is the kind of thing that, you know, can turn the day around a little bit. Cause it's been, it's been slow. We've had three bites all day and uh, hopefully we get into some up this way. Another one. Look at that. Got machinery running. Got the max scent running. <laughs> Life is good. Uh, not much, but another keeper on a really tough day. And I'm telling you, this is a great example of when you want to throw max scent. You know, when the bite's off, when you're struggling, when there's a million dudes fishing around you. That stuff will get you a few extra bites. That was also another bite on more isolated cover, right? Keep saying it over and over. These beautiful giant laydowns, no fish. The smallest little sticks or, or bushes in the water, that's where we're getting the bite. So um, another max scent fish. The other thing on that one is he actually got stuck on that log, just a small log for a second, and I had to power him out of there. I want to talk to you a little bit about this rod and reel and line. Let me let this thing go first real quick. All right, so, you know, the rod and reel and line, it's really key to this presentation too, and, and you saw that fish was stuck for a second. So, 
you know, this is the kind of bait. That's a three aught VMC heavy duty flipping hook. This is a stout hook and you have to hit these fish hard. You have to be able to get them out of the cover. So I'm using an Abu Garcia. This is a Ike series rod. It's the power series, seven, six medium heavy. This rod has the backbone to land them, but here's one of the keys. Listen to me. If you're flipping, you're pitching, pick a rod that also has a little tip. This rod's about 80-20, so it's about 80% backbone, but if you look, there's a little tip there. That's important, that's important for casting, it's important for landing those fish. The reel, when you are flipping, I don't care if the water's 40 or 90 degrees, a lot of these bites will hit and run at you. So you want fast line recovery. This is the Abu Garcia Revo Ike, eight zero to one. And really the last piece of this equation is heavy fluorocarbon, right? Fluorocarbon. Why fluorocarbon and not braid? Why not braid? Well, the great thing about fluorocarbon is it's dense, it sinks, that means a better action to the bait, but fluorocarbon comes through wood cover like butter. A lot of times that braid will get caught in the crevices of the sticks, of the brush, of the logs, fluorocarbon slides over it more. So. 7.6 medium heavy, 8.0 to 1 heavy fluorocarbon, that's the combination. Oh God, holy sh This is another one. Man. There's a whole bunch right there. Oh God. See that? Another one picked it up and dropped it. But God, I didn't even have time to swing on that one. Golly! Holy f That's the fourth one I've missed. Dude, I started carrying it to the moon over there. F did I miss him? Golly, I missed another one. I switched to a smaller bait with a smaller weight. The fish skating with it. You see that? I mean, he was he was gone. I mean, that's why I made the switch to a smaller bait. This is bad, dude. This is bad. I'm finally around. Missed another one. All right. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm gonna have to go to something like ultra small. Getting bites now, just had two bites again. Talk about blowing it. Getting bites all of a sudden and now. Yeah, missed another bite. We're around them now. Look at what size of swirl there. Everything's telling me to throw a chatterbait, but but I can't keep missing them. That's sixth fish I missed up here. Like this is, I'm I'm blowing it, you know. feeling about that. That could be the other problem. A lot of these could be that size, but made a change. Kept, I had, I don't know how many bites I missed. I missed five or six bites in a row and, uh, you know, tried changing to a chigger crawl Texas rigged and a lot of the bites were coming off the bank. When my bites start to come off of the cover, when I'm reeling it in or halfway back to the boat and I'm getting bites, it tells me to, to throw a chatterbait, a vibrating jig, a crankbait, something like that. So I switched to, a, it's a 3 8 ounce uh, jackhammer, black and blue. And I put this uh, Berkeley Chigger Crawl. It's a four inch Chigger Crawl on the back. Um, this is a color, it's a Tackle Warehouse exclusive color called Goat. And uh, Goat means the greatest color of all time, which is black and blue on one side, green pumpkin on the other. Um, the thing about the chigger crawl, a lot of people think it's only for Texas rigging, it's only a jig trailer. 
it's excellent as a chatterbait trailer as well. So, little guy. But that was pretty quick after I switched. Yeah, the upper end has just been more stable. It's a more stable environment. That's helped us. I'm gonna plaster them right here. That one almost, I almost missed that one too. That's funny. It's, that's, that one's hooked a little better, but got a big bird injury right there. Look at that. And a big wound right there. When that fish was young, it was hit by a bird and he somehow made it only years later to get hooked by a three eighths ounce mini flip. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, you know, we made a good move. We made an area change. We had a horrible start to the day. And when things are in flux, rising water, falling water, head north, head to the headwaters, it's the most stable up there. So we got in a good area, and now we're just trying to figure out what the be best baits are. And now we just switch to one of my favorite little jigs when the bite is off. And you could tell the bite's off, right? I'm missing a lot. That's a 3 8 ounce missile mini flip jig and i'm just putting a chigger crawl trailer it's the same one i'm using on my chatterbait except this one's the three inch it's in that color called goat um, look how small that package that compact package is um, a lot of times a big full-size jig that's not a very big bass he would have never hit that so sometimes scaling down with a small jig a compact jig it's the way to go especially when the bite's funny It's a good one though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two pounder. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just caught a, just caught a big crappie, and the very next flip in there caught the biggest fish of the day. I know what you're thinking. It's not a big one. Listen, if you're watching this. I live in New Jersey. This is a big one, <laughs> believe me. Grew up fishing the Delaware River. This is a Delaware River Giant certified, but another fish, you know, we're starting to get a little dialed and um, th this was a big deal. And I, I wanna show you what I'm talking about. Get this out real quick. Look how small that jig is. This is a bait by Nissel. It's called a mini flip. It's compact and the skirt material is even thinner. We use a skirt on there called frog hair. I have that trimmed down and I'm using a three inch uh, Tackle Warehouse exclusive chigger crawl. This is in the goat color. Perfect combination, compact profile. And when they're missing, when you're starting to throw these bigger Texas rigs and you're missing the bites, right? You feel and it swims off with it and you come back with nothing. You come back with nothing shrink your profile down get a smaller compact profile like that little chigger crawl and mini flip and you're going to catch some good ones like that yeah baby yeah yeah they're 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 hitting this better than that texas rig my percentage is better another one that's a bit that's a bass same log I think that's a bass yeah it's a bass 
There you go. Another fish off that same log. Boy, it's coming now. It's day starting to get together. You know, it's it's interesting. Fishing is ups and downs, and you know, you got to manage the downs to get to the ups. We had a struggle of a day. If if you would watch the blooper reel, there'd be a lot of curse words that that you'd hear. I was upset. I was mad, but we got into the right area of the river, and we're really putting it together now. We're catching a lot of fish. We've got the right bait. We've got the right trailer. And I want to tell you a little bit about this rod I'm fishing because it's special. I'm gonna let this one go real quick. This for sure is one of my favorite, favorite ways to fish, and it's fishing a jig. Uh, pitching, flipping, swimming a jig. It's power fishing. I love it. This rod is a rod I specially designed for jig fishing. It's perfect for this mini flip. It's an Abu Garcia. It's an Ike series rod. It's the 7-2 medium heavy. 7-2 medium heavy. You know, and just like my pitching and flipping rod, my longer rod, it's got a little bit of tip. That rod's about 80-20. It's about 80% backbone, about 20% tip. And that is perfect for slinging this jig, pitching it, skipping it, and, uh, and getting them out of heavy cover. The reel, you know, on this one, I love that, that this reel is more compact. This is what I call small profile reel. And this is the Abu Garcia Revo MGX Extreme. And I love this reel. It's eight zero to one. Look how small it is. It almost disappears in your hand. It's got the cork handles. It's a great reel when you're flipping, pitching, when you're fishing that jig around cover. Last but not least, I am a believer in fluorocarbon, especially around wood cover. And this is a 17 pound Berkeley Trilene, 100% fluorocarbon, all the way to the reel. Uh, the action of that jig, the fall, the way it performs around wood, it doesn't get snagged. It's the perfect setup when you're jig fishing. Louise. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. There. Um, it's the puzzle solved now. It's such a good feeling when you solve the puzzle. Look at the look at the little tattoos on his lips right there. Man, look at that. I mean, I hit that one. <laughs> Gaped him there a little bit. <laughs> Uh, little, another little fish on the mini flip. Uh, built like a tank. Look at that thing. What an odd fish. Look at him. He's 13 inches of all muscle. Look how wide he is across the top. That is crazy. Uh, missile mini flip, same deal. Fishing it around this wood cover, 17 pound fluorocarbon, 7.2 medium heavy Abu rod, 8 zero to one MGS extreme. We've really gotten dialed in now on how to catch a lot of numbers. You know, we've caught a lot in this size category, pound and a half to two pound. Jesus. It's like, look at them. They're like all from the same area code. Every. Oh, look at there. That's interesting. See where I have that fish? See that hole there? That's not my hole. That's somebody else's hole. See me fingering that hole right there? That's not my hole. That's somebody else's hole. This is my hole. You see my hole? That's somebody else's hole right there. All right, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it today. I know I did. Super tough day on the canal, but we figured out how to catch a few, and I hope you learned something. All the tackle you've seen used in this video is of course available on Tackle Warehouse. Like and share this, and also don't forget to enter the gear giveaway. We'll see you on the next one. We're going to a totally different lake. Bye.